Hi guys, this is Dan for EveCopilot.net and I'm here for a starter tutorial on basic fleet maneuvers. Now, in short, all you need to do as a fleet member is do what you're told. So I've got two of my court members here. I've got Raz and Cal. And these two are going to be my mock fleet members for the next five minutes. Now, you've basically only got four or five different commands that you need to understand in order to be able to keep up and move with a fleet. But obeying these commands is very, very important. If you do it wrong, you get lost, you either lose the fleet, you'll get caught out of position, you'll get left behind, it, it doesn't end well no matter really what you do it. So when you're in a fleet, you need to be paying attention. If if you can't do that, it's often a good idea to just skip the fleet because you'd be amazed how easy... Basically, the enemy, if you're in a PvP situation, are basically waiting to take out the guys that don't do this right. So what we're going to do is just give a quick run-through of each command, how it's executed, and then obviously you'll see the result here. So I've got my two fleet members here with me, and the first command I'm going to give them is for my squad to align to planet 2. And what they're going to do is they're going to right click in space, go down to planet, planet 2, and select a line. Now when they do that, you'll see everyone starts pointing in the same direction. See? Now <clears throat> what you'll then get is the command to X up when you're at full align. Now Xing up is basically the process of putting an X in fleet. And what that's saying is that I've given the order to align to a certain position. Now, once you reach full speed, you are then ready to warp. So once you're ready to warp and you're aligned in the right direction, you're at full speed, you put an X in fleet to say, I'm ready to go. Now what's going to happen then is that I'm, as a squad commander, I'm going to select planet 2 and I'm going to warp the squad to that position. Now because we're all aligned, we're all going to warp together. You see how we're all now moving in the same warp bubble together as a fleet, which more importantly means we're all going to arrive at the same time, which means you're not going to have people trickling in, sort of all skew whiff and out of position and in the wrong place. So getting us all moving together like this is very important, especially in a combat situation where you want everyone to arrive on grid at the same time to give the enemy the smallest window to react. So as soon as we arrive where we are, now I know that everyone dropped out of warp at the same time, we're all in the same place, and I can then issue a second command. So for example, I can say, I want everyone to align to the Amdaman gate. So again, the gate now I've got on my overview here, so I can either click there and align to, or I can then click into space, stargates, Amdaman, align to. Either way, you get the same result done. Now, while I've got these guys here, they're just going to, all you're going to do is exactly what you're told. So I've told these guys here to align towards the Andaman gate. Now if I warp off, they are still just going to stay there. And you're just going to stay aligned until you hear the command to do something else. It doesn't matter what else is going on around you, you're just doing what you're told. If you just do what you're told in a fleet, you'll never get told off. That's all you have to do, and it's very simple stuff. So what I'm now doing is warping ahead, and what I'm going to do is instead of telling the squad, instead of me telling them to warp to the position this time, I'm going to tell them, so what I'm, the next command I'm going to issue is I want my squad to warp to me at 10. So what they're going to do, that command is saying that I want the squad to warp, I want them to warp to me, being puppy, and I want them to warp to me at 10. So what they're going to do is they're going to select, they're going to find me in the fleet, they're going to right click, they're going to select warp to within, and they're going to select 10 kilometers. And when they do that, they're going to arrive somewhere around here. Now what that's doing is, I, at the moment I just walk to a gate. Now I could be in a stealth ship, I could be, you know, at, at some convenient location, which is going to give us the advantage. Now, as you can see there, he's arrived in at 10 degrees, like that. So what they're doing now is that's a way, for example, if we had a, a fleet on this gate here, we might want to put a little bit of range between us for various reasons. Now, by getting them to warp in at range, you see, you've got the gate, then you've got me, and then you've got them behind that. 
if I can, and that's all you've done. You, you know, the bottom line is, is that it, the reasoning is is as a fleet member, you don't need to be concerned about why you're being told to do something. If I tell you to shoot your own, if I tell Calidus to primary Raz, Calidus primary Raz, what I'm telling him to do there is that primary command is I'm telling him to shoot his own fleet member. Okay, and that's what he's going to do, and he's going to keep doing that until I tell him to stop. Calidus, stop shooting Raz, please. It 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 doesn't matter, you know, if if you're told to blow your own ship up if you're told to fly off into the middle of nowhere. You you just do it. And as long as you do that command, you're, you're, you're going to be fine in the fleet. Now, the primary command that I've just given there is basically a targeting command. And it's mostly used on enemies, not fleet members. Now, when you engage in, in combat, the idea is, is that you want everyone to be shooting the same target. So by calling the primary target, I would base like I said to Calidus then, I, I said to him that your primary is Raz. Now, what that means is that his first target is going to be Raz. I will then call a secondary target. So if I told Calidus your primary is Raz and your secondary is Puppy, what Calidus is then going to do is he's going to lock Raz and he's going to start shooting him. But then he's also going to lock me ready so that when Raz dies he can start shooting me straight away. So the command, if, if I receive the order that my primary is Calidus UK, immediately I'm going to lock Calidus up and I'm going to start shooting at him. Okay, I then hear the command that my secondary is Raz, which means I'm going to lock Raz up and I'm going to wait until Calidus dies and then start moving on to the secondary. Now as soon as you do that, you then you will then receive Raz as your primary and you'll receive a new secondary and you'll also receive a tertiary so you're basically getting one two and three names primary secondary tertiary and that's the order in which you start shooting at people now once what you may have to do sometimes is depending on your ship composition you may have to get in range now there's a little bit of initiative in in, in general fleet fights that you, you, you can do what's necessary to kill that person in the most effective manner. Now, when that's when your squad commander wants you to just do nothing, you will hear the command to hold position <coughs> or to hold or to stop. Basically means don't do anything. Now, there's a difference between holding position and ceasing to fire. If you stop firing, that's a different command. So if I tell you to hold, that's a position command. So I'm saying stop moving. If I tell you to stop firing, that's then sort of that's a combat command. So I'm saying stop shooting whatever you're shooting. It, and again, it, it doesn't matter why. If he's just about to die, if he's nearly dead, it doesn't matter. If you get told to stop shooting something, just stop straight away. If you continue shooting him, for all you know, the guy that you're about to kill has just come and said, look, we'll pay you a hundred billion isk if you stop shooting me. And then you've gone and killed him. And you've just cost your corporation a stupidly large amount of money, potentially. At which point you would be shot instead and probably kicked from the court. So the next command I'm going to give these guys to is to approach the Andaman Stargate. So if I say squad, approach the Andaman Gate, immediately you'll see their speed starting to pick up. And they're basically just going to come into the gate. Now approaching a gate is very different from jumping to a gate. This is one of the most common mistakes that are made. You're moving along through a system and you're jumping from place to place to place and you get told to walk to a gate. That isn't All you're doing is warping to that gate or you're approaching that gate. And that's the command. The command is to approach the gate. It's not to jump through it. Now... If you do, for example, on the other end of that gate could be 50 enemies. Now, most of your squad will be well behaved and they'll walk to the gate and then they'll do nothing. If you jump through on your own, you're just going to get your ass kicked. The command, which is completely separate to that, which I'll give you now, is squad, if he's in range... Just X up when you're in range for me, please. Again, so there's another X up. What I'm saying is I want you to X up when you're in range of the gate. Because I didn't know then whether Calidus was in range or not. So I asked for the X. So now I've got three X's in fleet. I can see that everyone is in range of the gate. So I can now give the jump, jump, jump. The reason that's said three times is because the word jump is sometimes used. You know, I need to, I need to get a scout to jump here. I need to get this. Until you hear jump, 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 that's your command to jump. 
Now as soon as you move through a gate like this, you're basically going to do nothing. And this is holding your cloak. You can see as you jump through a gate, your character's cloaked. And it's going to remain cloaked for 30 seconds or until you do an action. So when you jump through a gate, it's very important that you don't do anything. Just do nothing until you're told. So if I say squad, align to asteroid belt 1. Okay, so what they're going to do, right click in space, asteroid belt. And now actually the command should have been 4 1. And as soon as they do that, you see, they start to pop up on the grid. Now again, what I'm looking for is as soon as the squad's aligned, they're going to give me an X in fleet. And that's when I know the squad is then ready to be warped. So what I'm doing as a fleet commander is I'm sat here and I'm waiting for them to see the X's. So now I can see that those two are both ready to warp. Now I've warped ahead again because for, for various reasons. You, you've got to get used to the fact that your, that your fleet isn't always going to be doing what you're doing just need to do what you've been told to do. So what I'm going to now do is while I'm mid-warp, as soon as I land, I'm going to see that the system is actually covered in cans. Fair enough. I see that it's safe. There aren't any hostiles. So I now tell the squad to warp to me at 10 kilometers. <laughs> and I just saw a ship get blown up. Awesome. So if I, and I've now told the squad to warp to me at 10. And the reason I've done that is because that guy is 18 and 21 kilometers away from me. Okay, so for me, getting them closer to those targets is going to allow them to get a better shooting position. So as soon as these two arrive, I'll just turn that on quickly. Now this is quite a long walk. They're, they're going to be closer. You see there, they've landed right on top of those two ships. So I can then call the primary target as well, you see, it doesn't really work so well with rats because they've all got the same name. But this is now sort of essentially a combat. So I'm just going to tell the squad to free fire. And the free fire command basically means just kill everything. Anything you see, if it's not friendly, blow it up. As soon as I do that, everyone in the squad is just going to start killing stuff. So what we've basically got is the aligning, the warping to which be it a gate, a planet, a squad member, anything like that, warping to range, which is again, you can do the same same way that I selected a player and selected warp to within range, you can do the same thing with a stargate. You can warp to that at 100, 200, 300. Yeah, the, the warping to range can be done on any item. And you see the little guy behind that little capsule? He died to those three rats, which is quite hilarious. Um, and yeah, on top of that, you've got the hold position, which basically means stop, you know, stopping attack, pretty self-explanatory. Jump, 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 when you go through a gate, unless you hear those words, don't go through a gate. If you're in my fleet and you jump when I didn't tell you to, I will move the rest of the fleet through and kill you for it. And I literally mean, take your ship, blow it into pieces, because it. if you do that, then potentially the enemy know that we're there. If they know that we're there, they can react to that. So you've potentially just killed your entire fleet. Maybe you didn't, maybe you did, it doesn't matter. If you do that when I tell you not to do it, in fact, staying in my fleet is very hard to stay alive. But as you can see, it's very simple stuff. Now, as long as you can basically get through these simple commands, that's everything you need to know to navigate in a fleet, to, to listen to the fleet commander, to do everything he says, and, and just follow the fleet around. And and sometimes you, you will hear other chatter between maybe other fleet commanders, other squads, questions are being asked, intel's being brought in. Just listen for your squad. So right now I could be talking away and suddenly I will go squad aligned to planet one. As soon as you hear that squad, then at that point you know that it's your squad. The squad needs to align to planet one. As soon as you hear that command, that's when you need to start paying attention. If, if you don't, if, if I say carrots aligned to planet one, you know, that's not you. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. That's just the basic commands for navigating with a squad, as well as how to select targets. And yeah, thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you next time.